Hello, Beth the Builder here, and this week I'm going to build my stovetop shelving. So in case you didn't watch that video, you should go watch it now. But I built custom oven cabinets. And in doing so, I brought my oven forward to make it flush with the cabinets that were already there. And that left a very odd gap behind my oven. So I'm going to build a little shelving unit to go behind it. So, I mean, technically it's just one shelf. It's going to be three sided. So I've seen pictures of this that people have built. Um, you can buy like stainless steel ones. Usually they sit over top of the back of the stove. So that's kind of where this idea came from. And then I looked at like other custom built in type oven surrounds that are usually tiled and look very, very nice. So I kind of merged these ideas to come up with this. So I'm actually using more of my tongue and groove wood, which I've used for various projects and it's come in like stupid handy. I got it for free. It's awesome. I don't have any wood that is the right width and the right length. So this is what we're doing. Obviously you could just go buy a 10 inch wide board by however many feet you needed. Of course that's an option, but I'm going to use what I got and I think it's going to work out and be pretty cool. I used the same tongue and groove wood for my shelves on my oven cabinets. So it's going to match and it's going to stain the same way. It's going to look very intentional. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the longest length I need and then join that to another tongue and groove board to make the width that I need. Um, I will have to end up trimming some of the width down and that's just the way it goes because I don't have anything that's specifically the right size. So this is literally just three sided and it's going to set on my counters that now exist there and then I'll secure that in place. So not difficult. You can find if you just like search like stovetop shelf stuff will pop up and that's what I had seen initially. Um, but this is kind of just like taking it to the next level of something very, very custom. Everything around my oven is custom because uh, my kitchen is wicked old and no one was thinking about an oven when they built it. So, alrighty, so I'm gonna cut all the pieces I need, join them to another piece of tongue and groove because again, I need that width. Um, and then we'll get to assembling. Alrighty, so I've glued my pieces together so I have the right widths for everything. So now I just have to wait for this to dry. And uh, while we're waiting, you should probably uh, like and subscribe and check out some cool places in the description. So I have my boards all glued together and stained and now I'm ready to trim them down to the right width that I need because two tongue and groove boards together is more than enough. So you could argue that this is maybe a slightly wasteful way to use this tongue and groove wood because I'm going to have excess that I'm just going to cut off. Um, it's either this, use the stuff I have, or go buy a whole brand new piece of wood from the hardware store. So it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of another. Alrighty, so I'm going to trim these down and then we can piece them together with my brackets and then install it.
Okay, so that's all there is to it. So all you needed was some wood and then some brackets. I used L brackets to attach my top to my sides and then flat brackets to attach my sides to my cabinets. So, and then I moved my oven out of the way so I could actually get back here. Otherwise it would have been very awkward. Um, but yeah, just three sides, so simple. So no surprises, all went pretty smoothly. And now there's a shelf here. Go build yourself a tiny shelf for your kitchen because who doesn't like that? All right, so uh, that's it for this week. Uh, you know what to do below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week with a new video.